I welcome you to my ship. Under this scorching sun, in this vast desert, on these hallowed lands, there is much to be done. Settle in quickly. The reliquary awaits us. Hello, everybody, and welcome back uh, to the Black Reliquary. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba -ba. All right, I say welcome back, but this is no ordinary welcome back. For you see, the Black Reliquary officially has its own Steam page. So, this is no ordinary welcome back. If anything, well, it's welcome too. But, you know what I mean. So, with that being said, <laughs> there are a couple things that I should say before we get started. Number one, we're probably going to be going through old areas that I've gone through in previous patches. Um, for example, we are probably going to go fight both bosses of the Levantine, uh, both bosses of the... Wildlanders, I believe they're called. I don't know if I'm gonna go fight the bug people. Okay, yes, I... Alright, alright. We'll go fight the bug people. And then, of course, we have the cactuses to go deal with. So, um, I do want to warn you. This might be a little bit of a slower series than uh, the previous patches. Because I do intend to do a little bit of everything. Um... And I also have every add-on currently on. Don't worry, Lilith is going to be in this uh, series as well. But, as usual, with Lilith, we are not going to be using her in the brand new content. We're going to be using her in areas we've already done, or to farm off-camera. So, you guys are tired of me ranting. Let's go ahead and see what the captain has to say about the new areas of the ship. Amber is a curious substance. In its raw state, it is unstable, volatile. We need every paravant available to convert it into a usable state. Let's see, has any of the upgrades changed? Improves the amber refinement process. Base yield of 5 to 7. Uh, this gives us two slots to work with. Improve our bargaining power with the Rot Herring Co. 5 to 7, another slot. Improve... Hmm. Improves the den's facilities. Side effect chances. Gain stress buff minus 50%. Huh. Sounds like a good side effect. Within one's own mind can be a terrible place to be if it is not cared for. <laughs> Someone sneezed. <laughs> That's fun. Treatment library. Reduces the cost. Okay. Reduces negative quirk treatment by 9%. Okay, so this is all just reduced cost and more cells. Be it prized gem or unremarkable stone, these mere objects are invaluable to our success. Let's see, improve the number of available trinkets at the oddities dealer. Reduces the cost of purchasing trinkets. I like that. And this tells us our chances. So Nomad is 1%, very rare 9%, and the rest look pretty normal now what i'm curious about did any of these get changed there's a blight of Bobbymation. essence of malignity i believe this is one that there was a contest for um i think i know there's a couple new trinkets in here that were uh voted on i believe this is one of them on monster kill after combat gain one malignant vestige okay um, this is for the Hexer, obviously, we're gonna have the Hexer, I know a certain someone is not going to be excited about that, but that's okay. Parasite Zero, Blight Resist, Symptom Disease Resist, Minus Speed, on Friendly Skill, other heroes have a 45% chance to gain Rictus Imperfectus. A grin cracks the face in two, warping thoughts towards sadism and hunger. This is for the Vestal, on Friendly Skill, <laughs> What? Unfriendly skill, become enraged and frantic. That sounds fun. Let's see. Perfumer's Needle. Actually, was this nerfed? No, it seems fine. Um, now, what is the one I'm thinking about? 
Ah, this one. On melee attack or repost hit, steel targets bleed, blight, mark, restoration, and stealth. That seems to be a new effect. Sorry, I just wanted to look at those. I was pretty curious. There will be losses, and they will be given proper remembrance. But we mustn't linger on our failures. Our forces should find refuge here when the burdens of the world become too much to carry. Oh, improves the bar's facility. Side effect chances, gain buff, gain debuff, or lose gold. <laughs> um, side effect chances, gain gold, gain trinket, chance to lose gold, chance to stay in activity. Okay. Gain gold, gain trinket, gain buff, gain debuff, lose gold, stay in activity, spend one to two weeks recovering from fight. Huh. Interesting. I like the side effects, but there's also more reason to put them into the facilities because yeah you might gain a debuff but you might gain something really good our enemies are disciplined wild or naturally savage no amount of preparation is too much okay normal upgrading stuff it is not often you see a forge on a ship do not take this oddity for granted more normal upgrading stuff the valley does not condone full hardiness they must be in tune with the land mm, camping and finally my dear old friend it is a relief my letter found its way to you so quickly settle in our task ahead is neither simple nor easy okay there is much to be done so, in this series, we are going to defeat the Enchantress, the Janissary, I'm not going to scroll down all the way, the Matron, the other Matron, the Gastrosaur, the Greater Sandworm, and then the remaining two bosses. I'm curious to see, because I know some of the bosses have undergone little reworks, so this is a brand new experience. I'm excited for this. Welcome to the valley. It is beautiful, but not forgiving. And the careless will know its wrath. Okay. The first delve. We venture into the valley for the first time. The catacombs of the Carvats are a dangerous place in their own right. But the Blan the Levantine mate. No, the Levantine. Levantine. It's the Levantine, not the Levantine, the Levantine. I need to remember that. Okay, these are still here. Great. I like that. Let's see. And we have all of our skills, so we could actually just change these if we wanted. Don't have all of our camping skills. Now, something I do like, our starting characters actually have stuff that suits them. For example, uh, the Hellion, Pagan, Giant Slayer. So, really good against size 2, but Coward. Starts to fall off once an enemy starts losing health. Baristin, the Man-at-Arms. Hard-Skinned, more protection. Very good. Religious. Thanatophobia. Obviously, he's afraid of dying. Fair player is interesting to me. Because if we stun them, we're doing less damage to them. But our teammates are not. Uh, not to mention, by the time he gets to move again, they've already recovered from stun. So this isn't that bad. I I'm not too bothered about that. Oh, a red. Pagan. Superstitious. Technical. Which is... It's good... It's just not good for a certain skill. Uh, diffident, poor... <laughs> he has a chance to stress himself out. Has this been changed? No. Actually, yes. Because Amber itself has been changed, from what I understand. As well as XB8. So those two have been reworked. So we're going to need to remember that. And then, of course, we have the Musketeer. Uh, I am good with that. So, without further ado... As the age-old saying goes, how much is your life worth? Treasure is not found in darkness, but rather because of it. Here is what we bring. Boudicca! I don't know how to say her name, I'm gonna be honest. The Hellion. It is... The, these are actually their base names, by the way. Wicked Hack, Iron Swan, Barbaric Yop. 
and Reckless Rage. But least in the man at arms with Crush Retribution Command and Bolster. Alzared the Occultist with Sacrificial Stab, Amber Curse, Word Reconstruction, and Damon's Pull. And of course, Margaret the Musketeer with the Standard Shot, Bombard, Change Ammo, and Patch Up. So, um, there actually was a call if any influencers wanted to get this early. And, uh. Battle in the Valley will be different from what you are accustomed to. Yeah, I just completely missed it. <laughs> it happened at a time when my internet was just kind of going kablooey. So, I unfortunately didn't get to take part in that, but that's okay. I get to experience what, experience it while everyone else does. Even though it would have been cool to have it first, but oh well. Um, targets. Interesting. So, we can see who people are targeting now? Levantine Nemesis. What is that? More damage versus Levantine. More accuracy versus Levantine. Sweet. Um... 34%? We take those. Okay. <laughs> you will not attack my people. Debuff? Well, there was a chance. Maybe we shouldn't have taken it, though. Train Slash? Whoo! 12 damage. Okay. Big boy damage straight away. But we have a little bit of that of our own. Five percent crit. Okay. So the Karvatsk vending golem. We give it the Makach. Ooh. More accuracy, more speed, protection, minus crit chant, minus crit received. <laughs> uh damage crit. Health healing received. Bro. <laughs> These are so good. What? Hang on, so... More accuracy. Uh... More protection. More damage. And then... A little bit more bulk. Wow. That's a... Those are really nice trinkets. Um, we do have an archaeology kit. Be gentle. For sale or for study, these artifacts are precious. By the way, if you don't know anything about Black Reliquary, let me tell you, getting gold is a lot easier. As you notice, Onyx is worth 750 instead of 500. Jade is worth 550 instead of 325. Oh yeah. Oh no. I step lightly. Well, okay. Um, I don't think anybody has any special quirks to open these, so we may as well just use the key we just got. I'm sure the previous owner would not mind. Oh, and citrines are worth 400 instead of 250, I believe. So yeah, overall, <laughs> gems. You want to keep those. Indomitable. Teach them the truth. <laughs> Okay, we gotta take uh, her out first. Giant Slayer. Ooh, wish I would have gotten that on uh, on the Hellion. The Occultist is doing pretty good though. <laughs> oh well, you know what? Kill that. Okay. Swan duty. <laughs> um. Let's get mad. Okay, so, Enraged, on kill, except for dots and reposts, we gain damage, gain crit, and we heal for 10% of max HP. Let's give ourselves a little bit of dodge as well as reduced stress, because we're going to need it against her. Okay, debuffed a little bit. Whoa, that seems way better. Plus 25% damage taken. Whew! Um... Okay. Debuff you for the moment. What's your stun chance? Oh! 
Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so it actually tells you what ability can hit where. So, for example, Train Slash cannot hit our Musketeer. Repressurize is a team-wide thing. Sworn Duty um, can only hit allies if he's in the first or second position. Otherwise, he can't use it. Oh, that's so cool. That is such a neat little change. Strikes him down. Do not relent. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, oh, that... I recognize that. Not... <laughs> I recognize that sound. That's the... I think that's part of Gabura's song, isn't it? At least that's where I recognize it from. That's not necessarily, like, where it's from, but... Uh, you do have protection, so let's just go through that. 20 damage, you'll love to see it. Horrific blaze. Okay, double horror, that's fine. Debuff. Does this alternate turn to turn? Does it go from reduced damage to more damage taken? Interesting. Max roll, you love to see it. We're off to a good start. Second horrific blaze. Interesting. Um, so that little symbol is... If anything, that might... That actually... That looks a little strange, but... What I'm picking up is that it hits multiple people. Like, like that's the symbol for AoE. Although it does look a little bit strange. Um, but, eh, I'll get used to it. Uh, you are Amber Blighted. Let's go for a crit. Eh, okay. Big damage, 30 damage. No wall can that crumble. No tree cannot be fed. Another skirmish, another step forward. Does weigh more than 30 damage. <laughs> 44 crit. Okay, yeah, we're off to a good start. Um You know what? I actually kind of want to full clear. We're going to go upwards, then down, then right, then um, directly down. That should be okay. <sighs> you. Normally, I would debuff the sniper. However, he has to spend his first time doing that. That's the pull arrow, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Debuff both of them. Awesome, you love to see it. Go for a heal here. Step in good health. Now. Okay, get this up now, and then we're gonna start setting up our post next turn. Yeah. Saw that one coming. Yeah, actually, oh no, he goes for the attack. And we do dodge it, thanks to the um, accuracy round. Debuff you. Now let's start getting those reposts up. Chained impact. Oh! Don't pull. Okay. That would have been a nasty combo against us had they immediately hit him. Kill. 20 damage. You know what? It, it works. It's good enough. Um. Let's just buff her up. More crit. Why not? Also. Oh, you're so. Actually, wait a minute. Yes. Strike two. What can I say? I'm good at the video game. <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, oh, close. What's he have? Four health. Four health. Almost, almost. Um, heal ourselves. 26. Awesome. You love to see it. That's the pagan buff coming in. Cursory retreat. He can no longer use his arrow. That is a free repost. I'm going to go ahead and break guard. That also killed him, which was a little unexpected. So, yeah, I guess it did break the guard. And free healing. Wait, we weren't enraged. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's not going to heal us. Awesome. Okay, let's get ourselves back into position. Torch. What do we need to work on this? I actually forget. Luck. Nope. 
That was a mistake. Oh well. You're never gonna get far in the video game if you don't take a couple risks. So that being said, I took a risk and it was not worth it, but it could have been. That's the most important part. It could have been worth it. Oh boy, he's gotta go first. Big man gotta go first. So think of him... Oh, they were surprised, so he's actually stumbling. Um, think of big man here, the champion, as a leper. He might not have a lot of accuracy, but if he hits, oh boy, you're in trouble. So, that being said, let's not take any chances here. Let's get mad. Okay. I'm actually going to plan ahead a little bit and give the occultist a repost, and then we're going to give man-at-arms a repost, okay? Ooh, go all the way to the back. All the way to the back. That... It works. I would have preferred him to need to use cursory retreat again, but you know what? It, it works. Quiver draw, that is a stun arrow. That's not fantastic. Do we chance it? Oh, we're chancing it. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we can't hit him. Okay, we technically can hit him, but... Actually, hang on. Worth it? Eh. Yeah, you know what? I'll call it worth it. Double repost, we'll take him out, no problem. Train slash? Oh! Get got! Chest caper! <laughs> Mine's bigger. Okay. Um, get rid of the corpse. Actually, you're not... Okay. <laughs> I was checking his, um, his tags. For no reason. No reason in particular. I was just curious. I wanted to make sure he's a Levantine. You suck. Cursory retreat. Oh, yes. Yes, that's worked out very well for you, hasn't it? <laughs> now, die. Awesome. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd encounter. Is there a secret room? I don't think there is, right? Because it's like the tutorial mission. There isn't one in the base game, but, you know, this isn't the base game, so there could be. Uh, running out of food, so if we want to camp, we got to do it relatively soon. Okay, never mind. There's enough for another hunger check. Thaumaturge has to go first. She is, uh, way too big of a threat. Reason being, her blight chance, insane. Well, at the very least, how I remember it, it's insane. Maybe it's not anymore. I'm gonna make sure she goes down as quickly as possible. Oh. Cough. Mm. Well, we didn't really have any dodge chance anyway, so that's fine. Reduce stress damage taken. Hopefully we can get a little bit of dodge up too. Let's go ahead and get mad. Okay, sworn duty. Chaw! I don't know why, I always think of a surfer dude whenever I hear him do that. Chaw, man! Chaw, dude! <laughs> okay, that's the reason we need to take her out first. Luckily, he did not guard her. Unfortunately, can't hit her. So, we're just gonna have to hit you. Bleed. Okay. Bleeding slash. Ugh! We're good, we're good. No problem. Pull her forward. She is going to have to hit us. Never mind. I'm actually kind of shocked that didn't work. Take it off. What was our chance for that? 100%. 120%. She has 40%. So that's like a 20% chance to miss that we hit. There goes our luck. <laughs> yeah, 
has been happen eventually, so I'm not too worried about it. Absolutely do not give her the opportunity to heal because she's going to take it. Our occultist is not looking good, but his turn is about to come up. Big heal. Big heal. Giant heals. That's a pretty big heal. And it didn't bleed. Yes, straight into the repost. Eh, you have a lot of protection though, so that's okay. Uh, give him a little bit of crit chance since they seem to like him so much, as well as the repost. Hopefully that works out for us, but we're certainly going to see. Let's hit him with a little ah uh, debuff. More damage taken, reduced damage done. Crit immediately into a bleed. He's going to be at nine health. Oh no, he took a little bit of extra damage. Oh, crit. No crit, but it did take him out. So that's good enough for me. 10 damage, that is fine. What's he, one health? Actually? Okay. Let's camp now. Rest. We will need your strength come daybreak. Um, let's see. Heal 20 stress, that is pretty good. Let's revel. I think we can we can deal with a little bit of a debuff. Okay. Now. Let's see. Reduce stress. Wound care. Instruction here. And encourage. Okay, let's roll the dice. We follow the ever guiding light. Always lucky. Actually, wait a minute. Nope, wait. You know what? There we go. Now everybody's got the <laughs> relatively same uniform. Uh, we don't have anything to excavate this, so let's just have the occultist do it. He's great at exploring the catacombs, but he's afraid of doing it. Very cool. Take up the spades. This is nothing to trouble ourselves with. Oh! We're good. This land is filled with unseen dangers. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Who first? Obviously, the friar is a problem. He went for the only non-pagan, though. Or no, not the only non-pagan. He had a 50-50 shot. Yeah! Now, what does new XB8 do? Uh, triggers on non-killing attack. Completes upon triggering three times. On first trigger, heal enemies 10% max health. Oh, <laughs> that used to be the third one. Or maybe it's only the third one for us. Um, debuff enemies, minus 20% healing. Wait, what? Like debuff us, minus healing from XP8? Or debuff our enemies? On trigger, deal four damage to self, six damage if pagan. Okay. Gotta debuff him because he's guarding, so we're gonna have to go through tough guy first. Um, yeah. Let's get mad. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Heal up so that we don't take any stress damage since she does have perfectionist. Bleed, heretic! That sucks. Bleed, heretic! So be it. Now, you might be wondering, Hey, Shadow, why are you doing damage to the Pilgrim? Didn't you just say you want to kill the Errant? Yes. But, I want the Friar to heal the Pilgrim. Not the errant. That being said, 15 damage is not bad considering he has 40% protection. 
Extra damage? Eight. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Ow. That was not worth it. Hammer of Faith! Okay, nice debuff. Actually, hang on. Minus accuracy? That's a problem. <laughs> Boy, I hope his healing is reduced. Well, can't heal something that's dead, at least. And we get a heal for that. And more crit chance. Love to see it. Debuff him. He's got to go now. Ouch. Okay, we're just gonna have to soak it. Bleed, heretic! Double bleed! Ooh, good dodge. Excellent. Okay, we've got this. Although that bleed is stacking up fast. What is it at? Oh, no, it's only three. Okay, I was actually mistaken. <laughs> wow! Okay. That's, yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Ouch. Okay, it's gone now. And so is he. Ooh. That XP hurts. That is very, very painful. Alright, we got rounding up, 6.3k gold, 5k from the quest, we got the Resolve Stone and the Hindering Stone, we got 11 Matach, and 2 Salvage Jewelry, and as far as levels, 4 level 2s. Assuaging, uh, more stress healing done, I guess that's good for how much he can crit. Amber Symbiosis, gains buffs whenever Amber Blight is triggered. That is... Dude, imagine that on an occultist. That's... Or no. There's so many characters I would be freaking busted for. The fairy is now open. The catacombs have been unlocked. Our task is perilous. A small band of fighters will not suffice. Now. <laughs> this is always my go-to test. Did we get a religious vestal? No. Off the mend. Mmm. Unsubtle. Mmm. Contraband collector. <sighs> well, it's a Vestal. Religious jester. Who's a perfectionist? I mean, if you're a jester, you gotta be perfect, right? Uh, scouting chance. This is good. Natural swing's gonna be great. Uh, perfectionist. Eh. Fun. Heroes of Resolve level 0 were... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and say that's a li little bit of a typo, I imagine. I, I would imagine that they're not going to be level zero. Because um, that's something I do know about Black Reliquary is everybody starts at level one. There is no level zero. Sales and cabin. Increase the number of recruits available for hire. The change will take effect after you return from your next quest. Increases the hero roster. Okay, fair enough. Wow, okay. Um... Oh, I like these. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, that's cool! Okay. So, the banner size underneath it tells you, just at a glance, how long a mission is going to be. So, for example, this banner's super short. It's a short dungeon. This banner, eh, you know, it's got about half of it. It's a medium. That's neat. That's, that's a cool little change. I, you know what? I see you. I see you. Um, that being said, Melee Vestal. Yeah? Melee Vestal? Melee Vestal. Hello, we are in. So, our Hellion has the exact same. Battle Vestal. Judgment, Dazzling Light, Divine Comfort, and Hand of Light. The Jester. Oh, also. Uh, <laughs> she has a charm of Primity, the charm of Rage, and now the Jester, who has the Resolve Stone, the Charm of Growth, Dirk, Stab, just in case. Bypass Guard Skill, Slice Off, just because it's pretty solid, Battle Ballad, and Inspiring Tunes. And then our Occultist is the same as he was. So it looks like, uh, 
Let's go to the right, circle around, go to the left. Oh, great. Oh, amazing. Well. <laughs> Center. In. Is it incantation? Incarn. Incarnation. Incarnation. There we go. I said it right one of those times. Alright, first things first. You got to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Let the rage flow through him. Or no. <laughs> Let the rage of Olympus guide your blows. Oh, uh, does anybody even get that anymore? <laughs> uh, that might be showing my age right there. <laughs> Uh, how well? It's time to get the battle ballot going. Let's do this. You. I will annihilate you. Ah. You think that'll be enough? You're thoroughly mistaken. You know what? <laughs> Big damage and even bigger damage. Here we go. Guaranteed kill. Here we go. Everybody, hands together. It's a kill. What is this hellion? <laughs> Dude, this hellion's insane. <laughs> oh my. Dude, she only has a critical stone. And giant slayer, but that's not even like... <laughs> what? This hellion is actually insane. Okay, fair, fair enough. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, what's up? You gonna hit me? You better hit me harder because you're about to run out of time. Uh, it does work that way. Oh, I see. Interesting, okay. I wonder if multiple people did this. Um, I know for a fact I did. I would stall out matches purely to get as much healing as possible from XP8. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if I might have played a part in getting it and I get to get quote quote nerfed. No, it's a nerf. Let's be honest. Um, but <laughs> I wonder if I played a part in that because I, I was absolutely guilty of uh, stalling matches for just unlimited healing. So I, I would imagine some other people were doing that. So, eh, you know, <laughs> let's prevent the death. Be gone, foul thing. Wow, that's a bit rude. 80 damage. Horrific blaze. That's fine. We're good. Everything's good. I'm not worried at all. It's time to get the party going. Big damage. Big damage. Here it goes. You know what? Big stuns. Big stuns. 35%. Big stuns. Big stuns. Um. Okay. Now. It could be. I don't know this for certain, but after you recover from stun, you gain a permanent, for the battle, stun resist chance. So I'm really curious if that's still a thing. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. 12 healing, that's not bad. Oh, the bleed, however, not great. Okay, there goes the stun. Um, Dirk Stab. Big damage. Eh, it buffs everyone else up, so. Could have been worse. A little bit more Amber Blight. Try and give us the best chance we possibly can. And here we go. We're gonna max roll. We didn't max roll. That's okay. We've been max rolling a lot. Pressure malfunction. We need to kill her before she gets her next turn. Um. No war cannot crumble. No tree can for me. Also, damage stone? 
Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. What do we need for this thing? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's a shovel, but I, we don't have enough resources. Alright. Let's go back down, and then we will circle around town. Hopefully we don't go through all our food in the meantime, although it'd be nice if we can get some food. That is some food, you know? Fair enough, that is some food. Oh, I wanted to see room. Actually, you know, technically... Hmm. Is this a bad idea? Either... Nah, you know what? Let's just go fight. I was gonna say, what if we just take the long way back around, but not... Oh, we should have taken the long way back around. Oh no! Coup of draw. Yeah, we should have taken the long way back around. They gotta get Amber Blighted straight away. Let's get the battle going! Let the rage of Olympus guide your halberd! Rawr! Rawr! Um, get a double XP8 going. If nothing else, it'll be a bit of damage. Okay. You have more stress. And I think stress is gonna get really high in this fight. Also, I'm just gonna assume this no longer crashes the game sometimes, if they have both XP and uh, Amber Blight on them. That counts as aggressive. Yes, it does. So we're gonna eat. Ah! Could've been bad. Okay, here's a stun. Woo! Okay. That'd be close. That sucks. That's a minus 10 accuracy in action. That's gonna be a gigantic blight. Oh, five over three. Actually, that's not as bad as I remember. Yeah, not quite as bad as I recall. Until this accumulate, we must act. Ah, didn't even blight, sucker. Um, yeah, I gotta stop you for a turn. Yes, the rage that flows through my veins. I will see you again. Okay. Um. Yeah, there we go. Roar. Shall not survive. This I know. Oh boy, here we go. The time of the beast has come, and you are ill prepared for it. Yeah, it probably should have killed him a little bit quicker because he's going to hit us really hard. Steal yourself. Okay, seven damage. Um. Yes, strike two. Do not surrender. We need you. This is, uh... This is about to get a little awkward. 50%? Let's go risky. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm going risky. Okay, stun's over. I had a feeling. Okay. The gamble has paid off so far. And now, the true test! Yeah. All right, that worked out. That was nice. Good plan, good plan. Surprisingly, she did not go for a heal, she just went for the miss. Roar of the Spirit. Okay, she's dead. We do get a heal, thankfully. Get rid of the body. 
Does that count as rage? What? That counts? Woohoo! We're gonna have to use that to our advantage, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna just go for a heal. Okay. Bigger heal? Yes, don't bleed. No, 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 that's not what I asked for. Yes, keep taking damage. Okay, you're going down, big boy. Uh, next turn, next turn you're going down. Because you're dead to bleed. The body's <laughs> weaknesses are exploited. I bleed. Ah, take that. That counts as, a, as an aggressive action, therefore, you don't get reinforcements. The Birdman calleth. Okay, didn't manage to land the mark, I like that. Um, yeah. We gotta start healing. I don't actually know who to- oh. Yeah. Alright, bird person it is. I'm not good enough for this. Okay. Everybody is basically good to go next turn. We're gonna try and focus some healing on the vessel. Okay. Uh, big heal. Big heal. Big heal. 19, I'll take it. That's good. That's a good heal. Let's get this battle started. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're going down. 19 damage. Pretty good. Everyone assault. Luckily, that mark didn't go through. That could have done a lot more damage. That bleed's kind of nasty, though. Ouch. <sighs> Everyone becomes buffed under the light. Even though I'm faithless. Uh, my faith is in science. Uh, okay. Bleed? No. Um, yeah, come here. Come here! Decepticon punk! Get buffed up. Oh, you're going down, buddy. Butter? You're going down, butter. It's over for us. Over! Okay, he's probably gonna transform this turn. So, we're gonna use his opportunity. Wow, big heals. Big heals. Use this opportunity to just smack him down. We don't land the bleed again. Bit unfortunate in it. But we do land that one. Burn in the holy flame. Oh my god! Bro, what is this hellion? That was like crit after crit that turn. That was just crazy. Another we don't have a key. Another step forward. We don't have a key for it. But we do have something to trade for you. Uh, good against Mark. And... Sp oh, nighttime speed, huh? Or rather, torchless speed, so to speak. You know... When... What the heck is that? That's a new thing. We're gonna have to interact with that. Uh, when Black Reliquary officially, officially releases, maybe I'll do a dark run. Maybe I'll just go pure nighttime and just deal with a million Kervost, which we haven't encountered yet, so if you don't know what that is, you're uh, in for a treat. There are so many prime targets here. This is uh, upsetting. We can get good XBA value, though. Don't land it. Oof. Okay. That sucks. Let the rage guide your blows. <laughs> 99, we are as close as we could possibly be. Rallying horn. And there it is. Be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. No! Frustration. May the light bring courage to you pathetic cast-offs. Well, 
I guess there's nothing to do but sing a little song and do a little jig. Herring screech. Yeah! Well, at least you missed the best all that's cool. Ah, uh, Diva. Oh my god, not worth it. Impressive, but the Sacred Five had superior power. Buff. Chest caver! Okay, we're almost dead. That's okay. We're doing all right. Uh, plenty of stress bar left to go, so that's not the worst either. I want to kill you. <laughs> not quite. You're probably going to transcend this turn. Um... Hit both of them, that way we can start getting them a bit lower. Okay, more stress. Yikes. Okay, we prevented the transform, and we get the buff. That'll make it a little bit easier to deal with Big Boy. Put a bleed on him, try and stack up a bit of extra damage. Sweet, that's gonna help a lot. Oh, interesting. We can't judgment all four anymore. Ah. Okay. Chest caver. That's a death door. Wait. We're gonna get healed. Nice. Now, do we still have... Yeah, we do. Ah. Okay, so one thing Black Reliquary does. Um, every time you recover... I believe it's every time you recover. No, I, why do I keep saying recover? Not recover. Every time you get on death's door, you get a stacking minus uh, death blow resist debuff. And as you can see, it lasts for 32 turns. So, yeah, basically, there will come a point where luck will no longer save you. Because, like, let for example, 87% death blow resist. Right now, we're minus 7%. So, eventually, there will come a time where, if you've somehow been lucky enough, there is an anti-luck measure where, let's say you survive 20 in a row. Just, that's an example. I know it's not the exact number. And then, they're like, haha, you're on death's door again. You literally have 0% death blow resist. If you're hit, you're done. So, there will come a time where you're unlucky and die. <laughs> or it'll be immediately. Who's to say for sure? <laughs> Okay, he's dead to XP8. Yeah, stress is stacking up. He puts her on death's door before he dies. That is unfortunate. Luckily the healing! Alright! Ha <laughs> ha! And then we heal back up. Please don't put me straight back on the death door. Okay, that's fine. Oh! I mean, it hurts, but it's fine. How uninspiring you are. Huh. Something good? No. Madness in, madness out. Well. Aw, oh, so close. Um. Huh. Well. Okay, just you, big boy. You're the only one remaining. Burn and die, cabin beasts. Why would that stress you out? That's against the enemies. Well, I guess it could be against you, but... Okay, as repost is back up, this looks like a job for the Super Hellion. Get him. Bit of stress healing. Get him! Or get yourself. That works too. Actually, healing? Healing? Yes! That's what I like to see. That right there. That's good stuff. Dune lilies. Lovely flowers which seem to thrive in amber. Okay. <laughs> good news. I thought maybe they would take amber. Um, let's inspect it. Nope. Let's cleanse it. Nope. 
Let's laudanum it. Uh-uh. Let's hone it. Note to self. Don't use honing oil. <laughs> Please be the last fight. We're kind of running out of steam here. Oh! <laughs> well, that stinks. I'm trying to keep you from dying. Because uh, you're definitely going to take a lot of damage. Debuff. Okay, works for me. He was like, don't do it, don't do it, resist. Uh. <laughs> I can't do this. Wow, this team is, uh, started good, but they're really starting to simmer out now. I'm a blight them before, it is too late. I could do better, given half a chance. Okay, we're getting, uh, getting, getting a little bit close. I know you're gonna go for an attack, so when you do, you're going to regret it. Airborne Assault? Well, you didn't go for the one you marked, so you're just missing damage. Let's get the battle going. Ow. Breathe in. I... Okay, not not the worst, not the worst play in the world, but I would have preferred hitting the Turfish to Karashim man. You know, maybe that's just me. Okay, we're reducing the two most dangerous is damage. They got a crit heal, not that it matters at all right now. Um, start trying to get him down. Oh god no, my worst enemy. Death Store Dot. Literally my worst enemy. Heal. Oh no. Oh no. Not this early. Not this early. Oh, the heal! <laughs> Woo! <sighs> Okay, it's not gonna be this early. Um, yeah, honestly. We gotta prevent that death. It's like 50 stress damage. Just kill him, kill him, no! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Good? No. No, not at all. Miss it on. Oh, the blight. <laughs> it's getting so bad. Oh, not again. Here we go. Does the shadow luck kick in? Apparently this time it does. Um. We didn't kill it. It had one health. Why? <laughs> Do so you remember how earlier we learned that this heals if you kill a body. Yeah, I was trying to make use of that. Didn't quite work out. Two? And you bled? Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> Please be the last battle. We do not have the, uh, we don't have the juice to keep going. Ugh. Oh, what's that, 16 Blight now? 10. <sighs> no shot we kill him, even if we crit. <laughs> Gotta do this for the heal. It also gives us a buff. Let's move back so we can battle heal. Oh, we also soaked a chest caver for her. Nothing but blackness for you. Big heal. Big, 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 big. 
big heal. Big, 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 big. Oh my god! If only we had something to get rid of this. <laughs> Kill the healer! Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Shadow Luck kicking in again. I believe. doing so good and now you're irrational and you suck. Do you feel it? The, the call of the Holy Spirit! I guess the unholy spirit. Well, that's death door. I don't think we're surviving this time. Minus 28%. That's about a 60% chance of survival right there, boys. So, time to roll the dice! And the dice will roll. Oh, the pain! It speaks to me! The pain! Uh-oh. No. No. Catch me dead before I kill you myself. Or maybe you will. I guess I will just die. Goodbye. Nothing left to be done. <laughs> Do not let their death be needed. Here we go. The good one. Yep, that's normally how it goes. I've lived it, Cole. Poison no longer has any effect. Ha ha ha! Oh, oh! You better watch where you're pointing that fist at. Fight and die, God Ponds. Oblivion awaits. Mm, do you feel it? <laughs> You're changing. Once the blood flows, Here we go. Chest caper! <laughs> ah, it's a good thing that does not bleed. Otherwise, I would be in excruciating pain. Do I feel better, or is that just the pipe weed? Oh. No! Aha! Let me show you how it is done, fool. That is how it is done. <laughs> that post is actually gonna suck. <laughs> Here we go. Big damage. Ha! <laughs> If only you weren't so stupid. Haha! <laughs> you can't even hit the robed man! Ah, uh, uh, what was I saying? I seem to have gained the concussion. The time has come for you, imbecile. Please let the dungeon be over. We press on. There is much to do. Please be over. <laughs> oh my god. Whip. <laughs> I guess this dungeon's over. Why does Black Reliquary always start like this? If it's not a religious vestal, we have a party wipe in the like second or third dungeon. It happens every time, it feels like. What we did not take home in wealth, we took in knowledge. Well, at least I live. Ahem. <clears throat> Proper remembrance. The first and second has fallen. Let us savor that bitter taste of defeat as we supplement it with wines and brews. Yeah, it's a pretty good event. Um, issue. Everybody's dead. So, uh. Alrighty. So, <laughs> that's a pretty good start, if you ask me. Well, uh, we unlocked some of the other places. Issue. We don't have much in the way of frontline. Uh. Let's 
This is actually a really good Plague Doctor. <sighs> you know, we could technically salvage this if we did something like... Like that. This is actually kind of salvageable. Like, it's not a state over yet. It certainly sucks. But it's not a state over yet. So... I guess we'll give this a try. This could work. What I'm also going to do... Hmm. I know I'm going to regret this in the future. But for now... We're going all in. Because there's a chance we'll just restart anyway. So... May as well give ourselves the best possible chance in the here and now. So that we don't have to restart immediately. Alternatively, we could just restart off camera and then, you know, be here at the start of the next one. But regardless. So, <laughs> this is uh, as good of a team as we're going to get for the moment. But with that, this has been the first episode of the Black Relic Wary. We're already off to highs and lows. Um, like I mentioned, this is probably going to be a bit of a slower series. Um, just because I am currently trying to finish up a couple other series. Just so, you know, I don't get totally overwhelmed. Uh, I definitely started a bit too much too fast. Got a little overzealous. Um, but that's okay. Pizza Tower is almost done. Um, Limbus is almost done. So that'll be two series right there. And then, obviously, this one will take the place of either one, um, technically. And then, yeah, overall, should be good. So, in the next one, we're going to try out our brand new team. We technically have three heals. So, uh... We can hope that'll be enough, but you never know. We might just flat have to restart already, which is okay. It's, at this point, becoming a Black Reliquary trend for me. <laughs> um, so, I wouldn't expect anything less than my luck to absolutely kill me. My luck, if you don't know much about me, if this is your first time encountering me, uh, let me warn you, this episode is a perfect explanation of how Shadow Luck goes. It's either incredibly high or incredibly low, and there's rarely an in-between. So, uh, you know, if you like that, stick around. We're going to see a lot of that in this series. So, thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me ramble. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.